Crabman from Crabman Gaming here, and today I am playing Nagano Winter Olympics 98. Let's have a look at the 16 nations you can play with, but first let me put my name in. There we go, let's go through the countries. Russia, Norway, Germany, Italy, USA, Korea, Canada, Switzerland. We've got um, Austria, Sweden, Japan, France, China, Great Britain, Australia, and Spain. And I'll pick my home country of Australia. So this was Nagano 98, held between the 7th and 22nd of February in 1998. These are the events I'm going to play, and I'm going to tell you right now, I am not going to win a gold medal in all of them, but I will play through them all and do my very best. We'll start off with the alpine skiing downhill at Papo 1. Who will be number one in the world? Here, are, here we are at alpine downhill skiing. You miss one gate and it is all over, so very unforgiving. It is the Dark Souls of Winter Olympics. Need to get your speed up here at the start. And then crouch down and I have had to replay this a couple of times because I was talking and I missed a gate, so I will have to concentrate. This was released on the PlayStation 1 and the Nintendo 64. Not to very good reviews. 48% on the 64 and 49% on the PlayStation. I've got to watch out for one of, this, uh, one of these jumps up here that just sends you straight into the wall. I think it's this one here. There we go. And I've never been able to get a, uh, a time in the minus. And I haven't been able to see one if I've checked someone else's video out, video out as well. So lots of concentrating happening. It's okay when you're just skiing, but when you get sent over a jump, you have no control over where to land, so you have to just be prepared to point left a bit. There we go. There's another jump near the end. So I'm five seconds behind. I'm not that bad, surely. There's one jump. That's okay. Hopefully I can get myself a bronze medal at least. Got plenty of events to go through. Check out other winter video Olympic games that are coming up on the channel. Oh no, here we go. Here's this big jump. You gotta hook left. There we go. We nearly throw. Germany was the winner of this Winter Olympics with the most medals. We're six seconds out. But oh, we made it. I'm gonna take that. Should be enough for a bronze medal. Don't worry about a replay, we don't want to see a replay. How do we do? Oh, gold! Oh, we've started off with a gold medal for Australia. Absolutely amazing. Medal tally finished Germany 29, Norway 25, Russia 18, and the mighty Australia won bronze medal from Zali Stegel in the slalom. But Australia have a gold medal to kick off Nagano 98. Not sure why we're not wearing a green and gold outfit. Anyway, let's go on to the Alpine Skiing Super G. We're still at Hapoan. Who will be number one in the world? avoided that first corner. Crashed there a whole bunch of times. We've now got red and blue flags, which are a little bit easier to see than just the red flags. But I tried to do that fast start, I just kept ending up in the green fence. So let's see if I can get to the bottom of this event. This event has some more jumps, which just throw you straight into the fence as well. So I'm just going to focus on getting down to the bottom of the track. There we go. Surprise. Oh, there we go. Surprise that the USA is so far down the, the medals list as well. 
one minute zero point two four seconds. Uh, we're, we're going well. We're in ahead of time, which is unusual. Just don't mess up this last bit. Looks like a pretty similar track. I probably want to go left a bit. Oh, that's good. Big left, big left, big left, big left. Oh, I'm not doing that again. Here we are at Higashidate for the Alpine Skiing Giant Slalom. Who will be number one in the world? Here we go, we're off and away. I missed the uh, second marker in my first run through. And for this event, you have to go through twice as well, so a little bit harder. So I'll tell you some more Olympic facts as we're on the march to Beijing. If you're watching this before Beijing, you might be watching this during Beijing, or you might be watching this in 2026 when the next Winter Olympics is uh, coming around. And if you are, I just want to say thank you for your support watching this all these years later. I feel pretty slow, but a little bit more easy to manage. So my last run through, I think I mentioned, surprised to see the US so far down the metal channel. But Norway, it's a uh, strong winter sport for the Germans, and the Norwegians. A little bit of snow in Australia, Paris are blue, a few spots down in Tasmania. Not a lot where Crabman lives. Not much snow at all, in fact. One minute, 13 point, six, four seconds. If you want to know the weather this week, it is 41 tomorrow, then 42, then 43, then 41, and then 38 degrees. So about as hot as hot can be. Which is pretty brutal. Definitely not skiing, snowing weather. Here we go, we've done a pretty good job here. Go. The time was one minute forty five point eight zero seconds. A well in qualifying time. This game also known as Hyper Olympics in Nagano in Japan. For Mitsu gave it twenty five out of forty, so a little bit higher than game rankings. Should be able to get down again one more time. If you miss one gate, that is it. Your runs are done. Oh no! Ooh, that was close. That's how I got done in my first run. I kind of half went through a gate and I got disqualified. So there is no leniency. I may stick with my theory of this being the Dark Souls of Winter Olympics. has been very frustrating. I've actually played uh, Salt Lake, Vancouver, and um, what's the other one? 2006. Torino. Which were much easier to play than this game. I actually played those first. I was going to play this one first, but it frustrated me so much I've come back to it. I'm going to try and get some Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games up as well. Maybe a bit of Steep, because that was a free PS Plus game a couple of years ago. Depend on how it's going. I feel like a nice little series. Generally, lots of wrestling on my channel. A little bit of cricket. Two minutes, Oh dear. This does not have the high intensity uh, when I watch it on TV. It's looking good. It's looking good. What's this big one here? We've made it, we've made it! Oh no, outside the qualifying time. Which will mean a disqualification. It doesn't just say did not qualify. Oh no, wait. Where did we go? Oh, I don't understand this at all. Oh no, there I am in third. Three minutes, 27. The Swedes got disqualified. I didn't get a medal. 
I don't understand this game at all. I thought I came in third. Very bizarre indeed. Disqualification. You need a little more practice. All right, onto the snowboard giant slalom. At Yekabiati. No. Regular or goofy foot? We're going regular. This reminds me of just a less good SSX. What a game. What games those were. Alright, I assume I gotta go. Gee, I'm going slow here. I'm gonna say I'm definitely getting disqualified. I'm going so slow. Despite the adrenaline pumping music I can hear. Far behind am I? I just don't know how to get a good start. You press X, and then it seems to just put you straight into the wall. This is it. Extreme sports at its finest. Slow snowboard. I'm going to call it slow boarding. But anyway, it's not about winning. It's about taking part. It is the Eagle style. I can probably check out the other metal towers while I'm doing this. We came second. Germany, Norway, Russia, and third. Just wait till we get to the curling. That is an event to see. Just skip thought to the end. It's probably about an hour in. I'm 20 seconds behind. This is ridiculous. Someone put in the comments, hey, you go faster. Maybe you played this game when you were a kid. I think I did play this, but... I don't remember being any good at it. Time has not helped me. Here we go. Oh, I've got to do two runs as well. The time was one minute twenty-nine point eight zero seconds. Seem to go faster. You can get that momentum boost at the start, and that is about it. Well, we're just about out already. Here we go. Joe Nagano. I've also got another game for you as well that I'm going to put up as a little bonus, a little winter game that I found. It's called Downhill Slalom, and it is absolutely terrible. A game I got in a bundle with a whole bunch of other games. Two minutes, six point three six seconds. I don't know who went to the shop and thought, yeah, I live in Australia. There's a game called Downhill Slalom. That is the game for me. I'm a big fan of slalom. And it looks good. You know, we're near the end of slowboarding. we get that in one more time. You can probably get closer to these poles, but I don't, I don't trust it. Two minutes, 35 points. We're near 37 30 seconds, seconds behind. Look at this speed. Be careful, you might hurt yourself. Here we go. There we go. Just 22 oh, seconds outside of qualifying time. One, seven, what are we going to see next? Speed skating. A oh, long way last. Can't beat the Swedes. Interesting Australian outfit. Look at the guts on him. Gee, you're not going to be. Look at. This is the. Um, heavyweight speed skating event. You can't jump early when I had to Ready. practice. Ready. The 
a lot of button mashing. I'm not very good around the corners. I'm being caught up. I'm being caught up. Oh, it got me. Oh, that was a foul. Oh, that was... That was like a back elbow. If we can catch him up. Go. Go. Go, Trapman. Oh, it's got me. It's got me. Oh. Actually, no, I think I, I, think I won. Point zero eight of a second. That was a really good start. Burned my energy early like that Chocobo race in Final Fantasy VII. Bronze medal? Or was I just really slow? No medals! This game is hard. That's the 1500 meter speed skating, so it's just the same thing except triple the distance of last time. Lots of button mashing. It doesn't help when you got a sore finger. Ready? Oh. Ball start. Go to the start. Ready. Ready? Do you have to pace yourself here, or can you just button mash for a minute and 56 seconds? Ah. I, my sore finger, I, uh, went to catch a cricket ball and it hit the end of my finger and it's been bruised badly for about two weeks. If anyone who's played cricket might attest, my middle finger on my left hand, very bruised still, very painful. Go grab me in. There we go. This is this is not bad. I don't know how close we're going to get to world record time, but I'm not, not embarrassing myself. Now I get the inside lane. This is I'm getting the hang of it. This is not bad. This event, uh, Steve Bradbury won Australia's first winter gold in. I can't quite remember the distance. I think it was 1,500 meters, but I might be wrong. Don't quote me. But everyone else fell over on the final corner. Look it up. Steve Bradbury, 2002, Winter Olympic, Salt Lake. One minute, 25.44 seconds. I know what's happening. What's happening? Oh, foul again. This is what he did to me in the first race. Was well on track. Right. Catching him up on the outside. Go! Go, Crabby! Come on! Oh, he's got me, he's got me. Oh, I think I got, oh, I got him just. The angle just makes it look really weird, but. Oh, outside qualifying time. Was that outside of qualifying time by 0.14 of a second? I didn't quite see. I think it was. That is heartbreaking, although I've still got a gold medal. Where did everyone else's gold medal go? You need a little more practice.
Korea, Korea. And Sweden, excellent outfit for the Swedes. At least Australia seem to have got some sort of green outfit Ready. on. Ready. Some sort of stamina bar. Oh, here we go. We're in the Steve Bradbury position. He's just playing in my way. to hurt. This game is well released between December 97 and February 98, so currently nearly 24 years old, which is incredible. It is showing. The brutality is showing. Ready? See, I went out too hard last time. I lost all this stamina man. How hard you try, you can't really overtake on the inside. I kind of need to make a little play on the on the outside. Oh, there we go. Oh, go, go, we go. There we go. Now the goal is hug the inside lane. Oh, how did that happen? Just to try not to let anyone pass. This is actually pretty fun. It's about the first time I'm having fun in this game, in this speed skating. You know, I'm just depleting the meter. The meter means nothing. Oh, I'm lost. Come on, Stephen Bradbury, come on. Go, Bradbury, go. Come on, Super Bowl. Come on, at least get, at least get, at least get a bronze. Go. Pull over. Oh, fuck. How, 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 how can I not even finish the. I don't want to see a replay. Disqualified. <sighs> you need a little more practice. Thanks. Who will be number one in the world? Look at the Australian. Bobsleigh outfit, that is elite. Australia, we have a bobsleigh team. Faster, fellas, faster. Come on. OK, 
Okay, I feel like I'm going very, very slowly. I don't, I don't feel like I ran very quickly. This is like a leisurely, this is more like a toboggan than a bobsleigh. Oh, here we go. Here's a bit of pace. Here's a bit of Mitchell stuff. Here we go. 35.47 seconds. Here we go. It's the uh, Australian fast bowling quartet here in the bobsleigh. We've got uh, Mitchell Stark up front leading the way. Actually, no, sorry, Paddy Cummins leading the way as captain. Mitchell Stark in behind him. Joshy Hazelwood in third position. And then Nathan Lyon at the tail. Just doing a good job. Just toiling away for Australia here in the bobsleigh. One minute, two point three zero seconds. To be fair, I've done a pretty good job after the, the really slow start. The time How do we go? Was one minute, ten point eight seven seconds. Yeah, that's not to, not to, not unexpected. I can't even get my words out. Not unexpected. Power bar right. Six point one nine three seconds. Gotta find the wall for a good start. Go, my illusion friend. Go. Now obviously luge, the one you go down backwards and skeleton where you go down head first. What an event the skeleton is. 27.115 seconds. So Front didn't just whack skeleton in this game. Unless it uh, wasn't around in the 98 Olympics. Could hit the qualifying time. Get high up on the wall. Good. That was high. Fifty-six point nine zero seven seconds. Not going to hit the wall there. Go. Oh, the way too slow. One minute, eight point one oh, I thought I was close. Seconds. Three events to go. Ski hump. Ski. <laughs> Three events to go. Ski jumping. Large hill. First attempt. The wind seems to have a mind of its own, so I'm not going to worry about the wind. The thing is, maybe it does have a practice mode, but it doesn't tell you the ideal launch <gasps> angle. That seems to be pretty good. Did face plant, but got a lot further than before. Only minus 11, whereas before I had minus 50, so... The score was 5.4 points. 5! In the positive. Last time my score was minus 70, so that is an improvement. Second attempt. I want to release in the middle. Wind's not helping me. Yeah, that, that seems to be pretty good. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, I'm down.
The score was four point three points. Okay, nine point seven. I'll take it. In the positive. There we go. 173, 167, 119, and 9. Disqualified. You need a little more practice. And they get difficulty in tricks and they range from what looks like easy to pretty much downright impossible because you have to input these in about two seconds so you'll see what i mean in a moment i've practiced this before and i almost nailed one jump so we'll see what happens yes continue first attempt and you have a little bit of practice it's like... Oh, oh, so close! The score was 27. Second attempt. Oh. Terrible landing. Sixty-two point one three points. Where we landed one. Oh well, we are on to the final event, which is early. We're at Kazakoshi. Now, I have played this before. I did enjoy it. It just takes forever. It just takes a long time to get through. We're playing the United States. Heads or tails. I get to pick. I reckon we want to go second. We want to go after with the last rock. With the last Dwayne Johnson. So the United States gets to roll first. That mascot is freaking me out. I don't even know what it's called. I could probably have a look while they're taking their go. Taking forever. Oh, so they had four of those weird bird mascots. They were called Suki, Noki, Leki, and Suki. Known as the Snowlets. Which they are a bit creepy. Alright, that's it. Sweep away. Sweep, 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 sweep. Okay, so I found I'm going to go in about here. Now, I'm not absolutely not an expert on curling. But if I found I had power just under that bar, it seemed to go pretty well. It's probably a little bit short. A little, little bit of sweeping from the Aussies. I don't know where they um, found anywhere to actually play curling. The few ice hockey rinks. There's actually one really close to my house, which is really bizarre. 
the ice hockey rink and a pretty cool restaurant as well. Keep going. Go, Bluey. Oh, it needs to be in the ring for a point. I'll read the rules out while this is um, blabbering away for ages. Manipulate the stone into the center of the house with advanced throwing control and sweeping. A, cost, a coin toss is performed to determine which team throws first. And it tells me all about the rules here. Description of the event. Curling is a com competition between teams in which the team that scores the highest points wins. Yeah, that's a lot of um, chatting. Basically get one turn each. There's a mode here called the free guard. Oh, my stone's in trouble. Oh, they've blasted it out of the way. It's gone. Over that blue line, it's it. It's out. It's been dismissed. But I still think a slide around the left would be good. There's a mode called Free Guard, which I'll read for you. Very exciting indeed. I'm going to go... I liked my... um. My line was good. My length was a bit short. We're talking cricket, which is uh, generally what I'm talking. I can honestly tell you I haven't seen too much curling in my time. Only at the Olympics... Let's get a little bit of brushing going. Interesting attire that you wear for curling. What if you had to maintain your own brush? You're just like, yep, this brush is mine. I want to brush too hard. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, keep going. That is not a bad throw at all. That's almost in the blue zone. I'm impressed. Free guard. Turn the free guard zone rule on or off when on the free guard zone rule applies that means the stones placed in this zone must not be bumped out by the other team until the first four stones in an end have been thrown if this rule is violated the stone is removed and the expelled stone put back in its original position when off the free guard zone rule does not apply i don't think we're playing the free guard rule because they blasted my zone out at my stone out of there. That's it. That is that is good. That's their third stone. You can see the stones left above their name. Com to the USA. Yeah, I'm going this way again. I did did like it there. You can change angle, but I don't want to. I want to get the power just about right. That looks pretty good to me. It might just bump that stone towards the middle. This could be my best chance of a medal. It's been a disappointing performance by the Australians. It's actually mirrored Australia normally at the Winter Olympics. A little bit of brushing, not too much brushing. A little bit more brushing. A little bit more brushing. Oh, that's straightening up nicely. That is a terrific throw. It's going to take a power hit here from Team USA. They might just go for a power throw. Or they're going for a ricochet. The tactics. The tension, the drama, the buzz, the atmosphere. It's all happening here. I remember watching lawn bowls as a kid and I used to just like when they would just blast one down just smash the other lawn bowls out of the way I used to always be on the ABC watching lawn bowling which uh, is obviously it's probably its closest compatriot no they're going for they're going for the centre I thought they were going for a blast oh they've snuck in here they've snuck in oh hang on no we're still there now, is this the rule where you can take the last throw or you don't have to take it? You can forfeit it? If you're just happy with a score of of one? I'm just going to blast their stone out of the way, I reckon. Can I just do that? It's risky. You get it wrong. Yeah, we'll go straight. Yeah, we'll curve left. We'll just go full power. Power throw. Go! Oh, it's 
worked well. It's nudged it. It's two. Oh, has it nudged that one out? It's at least one point. Is it two? It's two. Could be going to the gold medal game. Two nothing. It's just one end. Otherwise, it'd take. Imagine doing ten ends of this. You'd be playing forever. I wonder if curling's ever had its own game. All right, we're in the. This is this is what it's all about. Gold medal game. Let's play one more game of curling. I mean, you know you love it. Oh, I'm going last again. This could be Australia with a curling gold medal. Would you believe it? You actually have to get a stone in one of the circles too, it says. Although, if a team's able to place two stones, one's further... Well, it says neither team are able to place a stone in the house, therefore no points are scored. It's not a circle, it's a house. You've got to get it inside the house. Oh, yellow for the Swedes. That is a good throw. Again, I'd love to see if there was actually a curling video. I'm going to look it up. Curling video game. I know it's my shot. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hook for the right. Don't worry about playing Series X. Oh, no. Oh, no. That. I went the wrong way. Got a bit short. We'll use it as a as a blocker. Let's see if I can sweep. I don't know which way to sweep it. I'm sweeping the wrong way. I thought that's curling it back in. Oh, I love it. That. Oh dear. Alright, what have we got here? I can see a, a book here in Booktopia. Curling by Sean Turiff. $35. Oh, hang on. There's a game on Steam. The Curling World Cup. I like it. There is actually a curling game. Released 7th of May 2018. It's uh, $14.50 Australian. Not much... Um, I've got 0.1 hours on record, a review by Grey Bush, Brush. No, 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 no. This is just awful. And he's upset because I didn't put Canada in the game. Music trash, graphics trash, gameplay trash. Not recommended. Yeah, I still want to curl in this way. I just... Forgot to um Oh I did it again no that I think you have to press circle can I go back Can't believe it did it again Too busy reading reviews of this curling game which someone has uh, recommended but then put it is not very good <laughs> Uh, not recommended. I, I could not see many um, positive reviews here. Makes my graphics card run louder than pop. Removing the maple leaf from the Canadian flag is an affront to the world's greatest curling nation. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, probably don't um, probably don't buy a curling World Cup. I found another curling game. Oh no, that was it. Here we go. I've looked it up here. Any decent two playing curling video games? The only one I've been able to find is Nagano Ninety Eight.
That is going to take some beating. What if I could sneak around the back? I'm hooking around the left. That looks good. Maybe a fraction too much power. Or maybe it's in Mario and Sonic as well, a bit of curling. I think it might be. Oh no, I'm gonna hit that. There's one in the way. Oh. Well, for my final throw, I'm just gonna go hard and straight down the middle. And see if I can just blast those two those two rocks out the way. Which is why if they're smart, they'd stick a rock out to the side. Oh, there's also curling on ESPN 2002 Winter Sports, which, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, dear. It's going to make life very, very difficult. Okay. I reckon go straight. Fast. Let's turn to Google, put it hard and fast. Full power. Let's try for a miracle win. At least it is a silver. If there's any consolation, the consolation is a silver medal. Oh, how have I hit that one? Oh. Anyway, silver medal. 3 nil. Silver medal for Crabman. We've ended a grand total of 15 events with one gold and one silver. What a tremendous effort. Stay tuned for some more upcoming Winter Olympic game videos. Thanks for joining me today. And see you later. That's it. Hold up the broom.